watching a dog's purpose and my dog comes up and just lays on me. I need to get a few things out of the way. I need to play. I need to wrestle. I need to bite a few faces. I need to bark. I need to play with a blanket. I need to bite some ears. And unfortunately, I still have to take baths. You're adorable, Titan. What's up, guys? Welcome to a new week. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Every week you get a new week. <laughs> dumb, dumb intro. We'll cl we'll cut that. Anyways, what's up, people? Welcome to a new week and a. I really don't know what to say about that. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys. I'm pretty sure I did though. That uh, I got fired. Just seems to be my life story right now. But this time, it was not my fault. Uh, I was told not by my training manager on my first night alone. Uh, she told me, I had her write down a list of things that I needed to do. And she did. And this particular thing that I didn't do uh, got me fired. But also wasn't on the list. I'll tell. I'll give you more information in a second. But I had also specifically asked her about doing this task before she left, and she said it's been raining all day, so no, everything's going to be stuck, stick to stuck to the ground, and sticky. Uh, so I was like, okay. So I go my whole shift, uh, and in the morning, my boss comes to work and says, why didn't after the whole night shift? It's been busy all night, been busting my butt, because uh, it was uh, the first. So that means everyone with a, with a uh, SSI check coming in is all coming in to buy their liquor and their, uh, and their lotto cards that's in their cigarettes. That's literally how the evening went. Um, after about one, it was just uh, cigarettes and lotto cards all night long. People coming in and gambling, too, in the little machines. But, so, in the morning, my boss comes in and says, why didn't you sweep out front? And I was like, I had forgotten that, uh, that I didn't even have it on the list. And I just said, it was busy all night long. <laughs> uh, and I did go out there, if you look at the cameras, and I picked up some stuff. All the big stuff I could see at night, I went and picked up. And then, uh, she's like, no, you didn't. You know, I could see the cameras at home. And I was like, okay. Well, look again. Would you stay up all night and watch me the entire time? Well, if so, you would have seen that. If not, you should consider the fact, you know, that uh, this is after she fired me, by the way. She fired me for not sweeping the front, and then we, I started having a discussion about it because that pissed me off. But I was professional about it because I pride myself in always be taking a professional approach when I have a conflict. Uh... It's just me. So, anyways, I'm like, well, you should look at the cameras then. If, if you did, stayed up all night, you'd see that. If you didn't stay up all night, then you should consider that maybe you were mistaken and that I did do that. And th th this is before I remembered that I actually had already talked to the my training manager the night before, that she had made me a list, that you know, that wasn't on the list. Uh, so, then I realized that, and I was like, but by besides, you know, such and such told me not to do it because, you know, like I said, it had been raining all night. Uh, and she didn't want to hear it. She didn't even listen to me. She just blew me off. And I kept trying to explain, you know, I know it's not going to change what, change what you're deciding to do, but I think you should, you know, at least give me the opportunity to defend myself here, you know. Give me that benefit of the doubt. That's pretty much exactly the kinds of things that I said. Uh... <sighs> she really refused to listen. Like, she was there, but she wasn't attentive. You know, she wasn't open to hearing. Uh, so I knew there was no point. My dad came around the corner because he could hear the argument. Uh, she said I hadn't done the bathroom either, and I was like, Are you kidding me? Go watch your damn cameras again. Uh... So, lost that job. My dad's like, just come with me. That, that's a bunch of BS. And I was like, yeah, well, 
And then uh, I, I was just about to get in the truck and then I walked back over to my boss and I offered her a handshake and I said, you know what? No hard feelings. You're doing what you think you should be doing. You're, I, I know you're mistaken, but I'm not gonna be able to change your mind, but no hard feelings. And I shook her hand and walked away. Uh, so now I'm looking for work again. I got hired at Teletech, uh, the at-home job, but that doesn't start till the beginning of next month, the 28th of this month and the beginning of next month. Uh, 28th for the some of the training to start and then, or introductions, and then the fourth or something like that for actually starting. Uh, but I'm also, I put in a bunch of other applications, other places in the interim. I put in an application at the backers company that I was dreading working at. Um, I put in, I'm going to be putting an application in at Subway, uh, family home video. I don't know why, but I, that would be, I think I would like working at a video store. <laughs> it would be, I'm a nostalgic guy and working at a video store is, well, Nostalgia incarnate. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Subway. I, oh yeah, I made friends with the people at Subway, the boss, uh, and she was like, "Yeah, we're totally hiring." And put in an application, and then come right back in, and we can talk. It's like, all right, no problem. So I was pretty much offered an interview. I just realized that. I gotta fill that out ASAP. I'll probably do it tonight. Or oh, I gotta write my brother his letter too. Okay. I got a few things I gotta get done over the weekend. <laughs> um, probably I have probably next week I'm gonna have to start working at backers a couple days a week. I don't need to do it much, just enough to keep up the bills that are gonna have to be paid here. Um, I don't, I don't want to be working a job where I'm standing in one spot, not moving, eight hours or more a day. My body can't do it. I mean, but I will, but what I'm, I will when I need to. What I'm saying is I can't make that a career. Physically, it's not psychologically, I phys well, yeah, it's both actually, because the physical pain would cause me psychological distress that I, I have a very difficult time dealing with, just personally. Um, not trying to be a whiner, it's just a fact. Uh, not everyone can deal with a missing limb. Some people can be deal with missing all your limbs, you know. Some people, some people just got a better, better psychological strength against pain. I, I don't. Uh, I carried that on way too long. Awkward. But, you know, I, I could do it, you know, once in a while when I need to. Uh, so, that's about it. I feel like I'm forgetting something important that I was planning on saying. But, Teletech offered me crap money and crap hours, but it's still a job. And the only job I have promised right now, I have a few other at-home positions that I applied for. I would just love to get back into computer work. That'd be cool get that passion back, the, find that joy and the big bucks I was raking in for a while and just be smarter about it this time. That would be cool. Get my dream going again, huh? Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this could be the only clip of the week because it's a pretty long clip and we talked a lot. And But if there's any updates, I'll let you all know. Till then, stay awesome. Maybe I'll see you on the next clip. See. Josh out! Hear that barking? Okay, there's barking over there. It's not my dog, but every few seconds, there he is. There's my dog making a ruckus. Telling us all that he doesn't like being left alone. You can see him from the gas station. He'll be sitting right there in the front yard, just staring over there. Look, you can probably see him from here. Making it known he doesn't like I make it obvious that I'm recording him. But this car right here, the, uh, the horn won't stop beeping.
can't get it, it's stuck. I saw them out there looking at the engine trying to make it stop. He's having to drive home with his horn on. That's funny. What's up, dudes? Welcome to the first clip of the week. But, <laughs> had a brain fart there. What's up, guys? How you doing? I am at the church with my nephew. Uh, he is playing basketball. I'll show you guys. Just a second. It's just starting. It's three hours long, so I'll try and take some clips. They're over there practicing. Look at Gabe. My little nephew. Close. Nice. Team of basketball. I'm going to guess the that team with the not blue shirts on is going to win again. Two to two. Gabe getting his hustle on. Three minutes left. Gabe's team is winning by two. Gabe is worn out. Ah, oh, so close. I would really like to see them uh, make two more points so it would be a, a tie game. And then the buzzer goes off. Get some overtime. 
I'd like to see Gabe get the ball. He hasn't gotten the ball at all. Gabe got the ball and then immediately traveled. Forgot to dribble, Gabe. Fifty seconds left. Thirty seconds. Game's first win. Bummer. One good shot here. One shot. Here it comes. Go. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job, 12 to 8, victory. Game two. Gabe is now uh, with the plain shirts. Gabe's doing great. Minutes, Gabe's team is winning again. Ooh, nice try. Blue ball. One minute left. Ten to eight. Fifteen seconds. The Gabe looking all dead tired. All right, here comes guys, here comes. Four, three, two, one. Post game interview. Huh? Post game interview. Um, How was it? It was pretty, pretty fun. The block people. I was mostly doing all the blocking. And oh. Yeah, yeah. It well, looks like you're having fun blocking. Yeah, blocking him for sure. Yeah, pushing him around. Yeah. yeah. It's easy, isn't it? I'm really fast to him, right? Me. Yeah. He said he's faster than me. So, so you I'm had fun too, then, right? Yeah. So I'm saying. I'm two, two, I'm two times faster than him. You realize your team won twice in a row. Oh, that's, that's You're the tough. champions. Say it. We are we the champions. We are the champions. We, we are, are the champions. champions. You can say no time for losers. <laughs> that was his idea. Say no time for <laughs> losers. <laughs> for we are the champions. Of the world. <laughs> no, you do it, you do it, you do it. Since I just did it. Man. No, like loud. 
No. I am scared. Yep. No. Circle time. Yep. And all right, tell everyone uh, a goodbye message. Oh, goodbye, you guys. Basketball sucks. By the way, didn't look like I mean, you mean you sucked. You didn't get the ball at all. Go. I didn't want the ball. Go. I just kind of plan on it. Uh huh. Good job, Gabe.